Hey everyone, Robert Nixon here. We're back with uh, Cam of Preston Jewelers. We got uh, cut off there by Facebook, a little connection error, so we just thought we'd fire it back up. And we were on asking her, if she, oh sorry, if she has, um, how she feels the business has changed in the, the last five years, um, such as social media marketing and what she does to stay ahead of it all. Yeah, so definitely social media has made a difference. Um, it's helped me a lot in advertising. I have a gal that helps me specifically with Facebook and Instagram and you know some of those platforms. You can't do it all? Yeah, well, I try. <laughs> However, uh, one thing we have noticed, which is a really nice, uh, also unexpected change, is that people spend a lot of time online looking for uh, designs and things that they like, and right. then they can bring it to us, and I can either source it out for them, or price it for them if I was going to make it, or so it's kind of opened up the world uh, to the consumer as far as what's out there, and then we are able to um, use a lot of platforms to with our goldsmith to come up with prices and stuff like that. So I found that it's the as far as designing and customizing pieces, it's changed a lot. Okay. Yeah, because people that's can our see biggest more change. And have more ideas. Yeah, they get their own ideas and they bring mm -hmm. them in, so that works. And do you guys have an in-house goldsmith? Or? I do not have an in-house goldsmith. It's quite a large um, expectation if yeah. you consider all the all the pictures you see on Pinterest. I don't have that much supply, but so I have sourced a uh, goldsmith that I use all the time. He works for other stores as well, so he has the ability to source out yeah, much cool. more than I could. And is he in personally town or is he? Well, he's in his own shop. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Lots of work, and that's probably hard. It is. It's probably yeah. hard to find someone like you got to source your own goldsmith out too, and have someone that can do yes. the job. Yes, right? and my philosophy is I only like to do things once, so I don't fool around with somebody that I don't know. I only like to do things once, and if it takes two weeks to get something done, it takes two weeks to get something done once. That's, yeah. I'm very fussy about that. Rather than I don't like week, handling twice things and twice, and I don't back, want anybody yeah. unhappy. I want it to be done right. Yeah. So I'm really fussy on who I use. Yeah, for sure, which is important. It's the biggest deal. Um, yeah. So you guys, do you track where your business comes from? Does a lot of it come from social media? Or? Uh, you know, that that would be hard That's to hard do. One, yeah. We have a lot of repeat customers. We yeah. have a lot of people that we see over and over again, anniversaries, Christmas, birthdays. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of, in the jewelry industry, most things are based on trust and longevity. So that's kind of what we go on, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cool. What are your long-term goals? Sell more jewelry. Sell more jewelry? <laughs> the store, the store, it's pretty would, simple. Would you ever move or anything? Or? Oh, who knows? That I don't know. Yeah. But happy, for now, I, this is great. I've got great parking. I've got everything I want. So, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's a great place. So, last sort of uh, business related questions. Do you have any advice for anyone that is interested in becoming a business owner and wants to get, or, or a business owner or just wants to get into the jewelry industry? Well, nobody should come here if they want to get in the jewelry industry. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to get into business, <laughs> yeah, I have lots of advice. And I've actually thought it would be great to work with some people who are interested. I don't know a lot about other industries like shoes or clothes or that kind of thing, but I do know how to sell and I do know what's really important in margins and business and, and what you're looking at as far as that goes. So Running I don't know how to source. Uh, you know clothing, but I know What your turnover has to be in order for you to pay that rent So I've often thought it would be really neat if I did work with some other people Maybe that were just thinking I want a home decor store for example um, There's a lot of home decor stores that come and go because they their margins They don't have the margins and so I I, I would like to be able to do that with someone if they were interested Yeah, but uh, it's not easy about. retail is not easy. It's not easy sales is lots easy. of money uh. Yeah yeah. And I think that's huge too, like your how much you spend versus how much you're taking in, right? It's Oh, it's everything. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now on some lighter topics. What is your go-to meal when you go out for dinner? Oh, I have so many food problems. So I would <laughs> love to have lasagna or something delicious like that. But I usually have to find a place that caters to me and does fresh vegetables and, you know, Indian it's kind of goofy. I know, Yeah, and actually, so the mom and pop, Places are better for me than a chain. That's I, I can't even really say. Yeah, I mean, place in town. You like? I love SoCal. Yeah, they always cater to me. Um, over here, Honey Lemon Grill always mm -hmm. cater to me. There's actually lots of independently owned shops mm -hmm. or uh, restaurants that will do that. Mm -hmm, yeah, for sure. Uh, what is your favorite word or cuss word or both? 
Oh, I don't have a cuss word. Sorry. Um, favorite word. <laughs> I don't even favorite know word. if I have a favorite word. I don't know. No? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, Someone else will have to tell me that. Yeah, I'll say my name. Yeah. I know. Yeah. This word. Mom, you time. always say blah. I don't know. Uh, what excites you right now? Uh, you what excites me right now? Like in my business or personally? Yeah, anything. Maybe. Whatever. Like I, I love it when my kids come and visit. They're grown now. So uh, it's always nice to see that. Like at first when everybody left, it was kind of nice. It was quiet. But now <laughs> it's too quiet. So it's always fun when they come home. Yeah, so sure. I would say that that's what brings me joy. And do any of them have kids, you said? No, no nobody's got kids right now. So yeah. no grandkids yet. Nope. Then they'll be pawning you off to babysit. Yeah. I'll be okay. I can do that. What are you looking forward to this year? Oh, this year? Uh, hmm. I don't know if I could say for sure. It's, yeah, I mean, it's always, it's been a little bit of a change for me because my dad just died two mm. years ago. So uh, I guess maybe continued success, you okay. know, as I kind of trudge through on my own. Do you guys have, yeah. is it slower this time of year for you guys? This, uh, I would say September, October are quietest months, yeah, and then traditionally. Winter, yeah, and uh, then we, boom, Christmas get into Christmas. Christmas yeah. yeah, so, yeah. yeah, it has its waves. And fortunately, being here since 1975, I've got lots of records, lots of books. I can go through stuff. You know, you know you when you're expecting to do, people to come sure. in the door and when there's not. And so that's okay, mm, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite noise or sound or what makes you cringe? Do you have any? Hmm. Well, nature sounds are nice. Like birds, when I sit out on my back deck and you hear the birds, that's always nice, yeah, I would sure. say. But I don't know what makes me cringe. Maybe uh, whiny people <laughs> <laughs> makes me cringe inside. Whiners. But so I have don't to hang out with listen me. to them, that's I guess. True. Yeah, really. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. Is there anything that I should have asked you but I didn't ask you um, that you want to talk about, about your store, about anything? No, I think we covered a lot, actually. Okay. We did. Cool. Yeah, it's good. And I think I already know the answer, but who would you recommend for the, or not our next interview, but as someone to interview? Yeah, in well, future? my husband just came in, and then he waved and left. That's what I was, I was waving a second ago. Um, <laughs> he's from Speedy Glass, okay. Dale. Cool. He's charming. She said, she said yes. he's pretty fast, though. We might not he's very fast. He's very speedy. He's hard to find, but good <laughs> luck. Have fun. And he's busy. Very busy. Everyone's busy. Yeah. Everybody's busy. We'll yeah. get him, though. Good. We'll get him while he's do. doing a repair or something. Yeah, hopefully. On my yeah. windshield. No. Yeah, yeah, on your own. That would be perfect. I need <laughs> awesome. to Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you. And okay. Thanks for watching. All right. Anyone to watch, and we'll watch. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, we did it. Yeah, I don't know if that's over. Oh, okay.